Fiji suggests citrus fruit consumption may be associated with an increased risk of the deadliest form of skin cancer. ABC 7's Alex Redmond joins us with more. Alex. Thanks, Haley. Who on the Sun Coast doesn't love a glass of OJ or the sweet segments of locally grown grapefruit? Well, consider this. A new analysis of more than 100,000 Americans suggests frequent consumption of citrus may be associated with an increased risk of melanoma. I was very surprised. It was my annual routine checkup here. Anne Rose says she didn't even notice the tiny spot on her forehead. Basal cell carcinoma. Rose says she's pretty sure it's from too much sun. Especially in Florida, you have to be more careful. Long-term sun exposure as a child and as an adult is one of the most common causes of skin cancer, says dermatologist Dr. Elizabeth Callahan. And with melanoma... There's also a strong genetic component in some families. A newly published Harvard research suggests frequent consumption of citrus fruits, also found in abundance in the Sunshine State, may contribute to the deadliest form of cancer. The authors were looking at a way to theorize why citrus would increase the risk of melanoma, and they're theorizing it could be this ingredient that we find commonly in citrus fruits. Prior research finds the substance called furocumarines found in citrus fruits makes skin more sensitive to sunlight, including melanoma-causing UV rays. A little bit of lime juice spills on the skin, and then when the sun hits the skin, it creates kind of like a zigzag pattern or kind of a brownish stain, which looks a little strange, and that brings people into the dermatologist. Kim White, owner of Fruitville Grove, a Suncoast-owned and operated produce market, says people do eat a lot of citrus. You see a lot of customers, and they want those oranges. Local residents, as well as winter residents, they all enjoy the citrus. The studies suggest the link between melanoma and citrus is specific to orange juice and whole grapefruit. The risk was 36 percent higher in those who consume citrus fruit or juice 1.6 times daily compared to those who consume them less than twice a week. We should be very cautious, just like the recent study associating melanoma and Viagra. I think we have to look at what uh, is truly a cause and effect situation. And then there are the healthful benefits of eating fruit. Citrus is a great snack. It's very healthy, loads of vitamin C and potassium. And you may not want to eliminate citrus from your diet just yet. This is a very early kind of finding. I think more research is going to be needed. According to the authors, this is the first large study to investigate the link between dietary furocumarine and melanoma risk. Dr. Callahan says this is a very early finding and more research is needed. So don't be, don't, don't go alarmist on this, like as if any study, you know, talk to your doctor and balance. And then the other sure. thing is, what about, is there an increased risk of basal cell or squamous cell with, with the citrus fruit? Yeah, there was no risk for any other type of cancers, the skin cancers found to be linked to the citrus fruits. But again, you shouldn't rush out there and just throw away mm -hmm. all of your citrus fruits. You should check with your doctor and find out if you're eating it in moderation mm -hmm. with a healthy, balanced diet. Like anything else. That's like everything. Moderation Absolutely. is key. Thank you, Alex. Now we'll head over to John and take.